Welcome back to Kin in Line. I make this part 120, and we've got some real uh, subtle lines here. This woman on the beach with a man beside her, I would assume. Um, yeah, again, just quick sketch. So nothing is fixed. Look at that face. It's moved. It's dead, turned around. It's moving. Um, really enjoy this sketch. And of course the, the yacht just completes the composition. Here I used a bolder sort of touch. This woman obviously lying there, probably asleep in the sun. And her body, her figure becomes just a, an abstract shape, really. Could be a piece of driftwood. Um, maybe this was the same woman. She just turned over and looked the other way. Here again, we've got the very subtle, uh, fine lines just suggesting the figure. This rather robust looking chap called for a, a robust approach, I guess. And this uh, very common pose on the beach. Hey, who moved my head? Yeah, so I would have started probably with the head on the right and then he sort of shifted. You can see that arms moved a few times, the one on the right. Uh, that's what I mean about drawing. Drawing isn't a stationary sort of fixed in time thing. It doesn't need to be, not in my book. So, female form, unmistakable, there's no question about the fact that they're just two genders, male and female. I don't think I've ever seen anything sort of halfway in between, but I can't rule it out, I suppose. Okay, so this looks quite a small drawing, but it's actually, if you see, compared to my hand, it's, it's the size of my hand. So it's quite a big drawing. And again, the little yacht sail, the child being dragged along by its mom, towel around her top. Large guy looking out across the sea. Uh, don't know what's going on in the background there. Sometimes you get, I mean, I like this figure in the foreground, sort of little child, and then this guy almost looks like he's got a beard, a moustache, sort of drooping breasts. Real interesting shape there to offset this really conventional female figure in the foreground. There's another, maybe this is the same guy, he's got this. Um, Beard. So all my art training, you know, get, just using line to define form and you get to all the muscles and bones of the back coming through there. This was a very quick one. I think it must have been an old guy. He looks pretty wizened.
And here, yeah, interesting juxtaposition of a quite a detailed sketch of a guy lying <clears throat> on his stomach with his dark glasses and then just this female bottom just about on his head. But again, it's just the device to unintentional. I mean, it just occurs to complete the composition. And here, a moving man's legs will look like they're moving. So that's why we have this multi-legged set up at the base there. Leaning on that left arm whilst maybe having a bite to eat. Much to see there, or there. That shows you how sometimes drawings just don't look at that. I've got two of these. Two incomplete sets of sets of legs. Sorry, that was a Freudian slip. Um, talking of which. That looks familiar. Most men would kind of recognize that immediately, I think. So that's a kind of stylized uh, torso, upper torso. Or as my father used to say, bust is the upper thorax. He hated it when we used the word bust instead of broken. You know, bust is the upper thorax. And here's some, these are, of course, copies. Any suggestion that they might resemble something else is, well, it's pure coincidence. Here we are going down a path. And I don't know where it's going to lead us because it's looking quite bloody dodgy here. Pretty obvious, obvious. We're getting less and less um, abstract and more and more sort of realistic. Um, quite nice paintwork, I think. So, much like I did in the army, here I was back idealizing the female form in paint. Certainly not objectifying it. Oh, no. Apparently Michelangelo's, a lot of his female figures were modeled on men and he just added boobs. <laughs> yeah, this one's boobs seem to be almost male. None of these are from life. This is all just Ken's fertile imagination. And then I did this little wood, woodcut, same theme really, landscape of course. Um, so I've got quite a few that are the same. I just sort of printed a few but then I did vary it a bit at some point just to see if I can find Oh yes, so 
We have an Afrocentric and a Eurocentric version. I can't remember how I did that. I think I first did this one and then I removed some of the, the dark areas. Yeah, well, I think we'll leave it at that for now. Till next time, cheers.